Wow! Wherever you might be watching me from all over the world, a warm greeting to your heart. My name is Shion Akishon. I'm using this medium to introduce to you a powerful program on Save Omega Media titled A Seed in Me. A Seed in Me. A Seed in Me. What is that seed in you that is yet to discover? Join me on this program to discuss on how we can discover the seed in us. A seed that can allow you to shine in life. According to the book of Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 says, Arise and shine for your glory has come. Without you discover the seed in you, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to grow your seed, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to nurture your seed, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to use your seed to impart life positive, you can never shine. Join me on, on Facebook Live at Safe Omega Media. Thank you and God bless you. But tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank you. Glory, glory to God Almighty for His good, for His wonderful, for His masses endure it forever. Welcome to Moment with Shame on the platform tag, A Seed in Me. Yes, there is a seed in you. Your seed could be your hidden talent or gift or your potential which God has deposited in you. Are you yet to identify your seed or you already identify your seed? But you are so tired in moving forward in using your seed to impart this world positive. We are here to encourage you tonight not to ever stop on working on your purpose because your seed determines your purpose. Whatever you love doing easily to increase the kingdom of God, to even um, use to benefit people around you, it is your seed. Tonight is going to be great in the presence of God. I have my wonderful minister, Oluwa Toyin. A lay big Jew on the platform to share our experience in identifying our seed and also our experiences, our challenges, and the way she was able to overcome those challenges. What kept her relevant in the uh, in, uh, in, in regarding her seed that makes her to still remain in the calling of God? We want to listen to our awesome experience, and I believe it will transform life tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Kindly please share this program as well on your platform to encourage people. Many might not be on here as we are doing this. Share on your platform, invite friends and family to turn in in order to bless their life. And I pray you will never remain the same tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are willing to contribute to tonight's program, the studio line is 079 I repeat, 079 Double four two seven eight five three zero. Please comment, like, and also share, and it shall be well with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Can I as well remind you when we get to our interaction section where we remind ourselves in the scriptures, you are um, free to join us in contributing by typing your answers on the platform. Yes, it's a platform to encourage one another on how to return back to the scripture because it is the word of the Lord that can guide us through. Um, in our journey, the Bible makes us to understand that the word is a lamp unto our feet. It means that the word can wholly guide us, even if you are um, wandering away or we've been tired. This word of God will always remind us and encourage us to keep back to the same track. And I pray tonight, God will open our inner minds to receive Him more in the mighty name of Jesus. Please open your spirit, be connected with us, and I pray you will not remain the same. It is well with you. You are welcome, ma'am. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you, so thank you for coming as well. <laughs> Please introduce yourself to our viewers. Um, thank you so much, ma. Thank you for, for having me. It's really a privilege to be here. And um, I give all the glory to God. Um, my name is Tony Elebiju. Um, I, well, I'm, I'm a mother of three, married to 
the Lepichu family. That means any Lepichu, that's a large family. family. So the glory of God. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm a drama minister to the glory of God. I've been acting, um, let me say, ever since I was young. I've been a very, uh, a very playful person. I enjoy uh, making people happy. And um, I, didn't, I didn't get to discover these gifts as a gift until when I got into the university. Okay. Um, in my background, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an accountant okay. by profession. I'm a financial accountant. I, well, people just wonder why I'm able to combine, combine that. I still work professionally as an accountant and um, to the glory of God, he has always enabled Hallelujah. me and given me the, the, the grace and the strength. Hallelujah. Uh, well, in terms of my journey as a Christian, I remember uh, the very first time I heard about how uh, I, I, I was born into a Christian home, okay. um, into the uh, Anglican. Uh, my father it's, uh, was a very devout Christian and um, you know, brought us in the way of the Lord. Mm. But you know, there is nothing like having that personal That's encounter. Right. That's right. I remember the first time <clears throat> I was preached unto by my brother. Mm. I, was, I think I was in secondary school. You know, there was this, there was this fear that gripped me. Mm. You know, when, you know, it's, it's, it was a regular person, a, fr a brother, a friend, mm. I, you know, I don't take serious mm. anyway. But that particular day just came in. And I, I saw that fear. The fear gripped me. And I was like, there's something very unique, very different, you know. And that was how the journey started. But then it still wasn't like a, a, a personal encounter. Then I, I remember um, my days, my early days at the university. Okay. There are lots of um, conventions and all that. I remember when Panam Paul came for a concert. That... I think that was the turning point mm. for me. We mm. had a, a, a big concert in OAU then, okay. about Femi Awolawa University, and Panepase Paul came. That, I would say, was the encounter, the first encounter, encounter that mm. I, I, I heard, you know, and it was ever since mm. it's been, it has been ups and downs, there's been times that, mm -hmm. you know, we left it, you know, we came back mm. and all that, but that's, encounter never left me and even when i was you know draining down and all that that it keeps bringing me back to to that to place the of the home. Hmm. hallelujah it? wonderful thank you for sharing mm. this with us more blessing more anointing in jesus name mm. can you share with our viewers how you are able to identify your seed which is your um god-given talent in drama ministry how are you able to understand that yes you can minister in drama um yeah like i said from the university days and i'm a person i, I discovered that i imagine a lot i it started from my imagination i i can tell a one year story from my head i'll just sit down and i'll just start even to the extent that when I'm imagining a story, I start to cry. Oh, wow. If it's an emotional story, I, I start to cry and, and I'll tell myself, oh, it's just my imagination. Oh, wow. And at some point, you know, God started urging me to put them down into writing. Okay. And um, apart from acting, I also write. Right. Okay. And um, that streams out from, from the scriptures, Mm. That streams out from dreams because it got, you know, um, reveal a lot of things to me yeah. as well through dream dreams. dreams. And that also from, from my environment, mm. you know, I just discovered that I'm happy mm. doing these things. And when I was at the university, most of my friends there were studying theatre art. Mm. And um, I was doing a, a, accounting. And um, I was like, why am I not? How can, I, can I go back and tell my parents? Because I actually went in for dentistry. Oh, okay. So I changed from dentistry in my year two to so accounting. accounting. 
And when I now started going into theater, you know, the department, most of my friends are there. I go there to watch them. And I'm like, is it possible for me to go back home and say to my parents that I moved from dentistry to accounting now? I want to move for. But, you know, that, that wasn't working. So, with that, with friends around me, they taught me a lot of things when it comes to um, theater because I'm always in their department. So when they are rehearsing, I'm always there to see the way they do things. things. So that makes me so happy oh, that, yeah, okay. this, is, this is really where God really wants me, and I'm always happy doing it. Oh. And um, sometimes I won't say I start lectures oh. for, to go to the department, but I'm happy doing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, wonderful. So from that point, you realize that you, you have that gift in you. Are you able to perform or to heart with them at a point during this time? I was um, um, in OAU then. I was, my foundation as a, as a believer is from um, Rema Chapel. Okay. And then um, my, my church then in, in Rema, the, the pastor then is someone that when it comes to music, and drama okay. you know that's encouragement you gave us that platform to do that and most of us i happened to at some point i was the head of department of okay. the drama ministry um, drama department in 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 Rema chapel if and then and most of the people that i was surrounded with are students of the theater art oh, wow. so it, 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 it makes it a lot a lot a lot a lot oh, wow. easier for me so we, we come up, we, 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 we do it, we make it very, very real, you know. I remember there was a time we, we went, because we also go on missions from drama missions and all that. I remember there was a time we went to, uh, we went to Lagos, I won't mention the church. We went to, we were invited to come and minister. And because we always want to make it real, mm -hmm. and most of them are into, they're in theater, and so they are, very practical about it. I remember there was an administration, they had to stop us oh, wow. halfway. They said, No, this is too much. Oh, wow. Because we, it got, it, there was a scene there that we came in with masquerade, oh. you know, and I think the church couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> they, they, they had to stop us halfway. And, you know, so those people around me made it Makes very it easy. easy and make it more interesting for me. And you know to identify that this is really yeah. what God oh, wow. has called me. Oh to. wow, wonderful! Thank you. Let me quickly speak to our viewers. Probably you are just joining us. We are on a, um, a platform tag, a seed in meal. I have my minister Tui Elebiju on the platform sharing her experience on how she was able to identify a great seed, which is a acting um, talent. She is a drama minister, and by profession, she is an accountant. Please join us in order to be encouraged on unleashing your own sin, because I know definitely God has really worked hard on you and her. He has deposited something special, unique, wonderful in us. Are you here to identify this? This is a platform to encourage you to look into what God has deposited in you and give it back to him. How do you want to give this back? It's by you using your talent positively to encourage people around you, to, to motivate people around you, to lift up some spirit that are dead around you. By doing this, you are fulfilling your purpose and you are increasing the kingdom of God Almighty. Can I as well remind you that it will be very important for you to share this program. Please share on your platform from contribute to what we're doing if you have any question type it in i will read it out for her to answer and if you are willing to even join us on this platform it take you nothing that just for you to come down to share your experience with others if you have that great talent in you and you are willing to share with everyone please just call the same number which is 79 Zero seven nine double four two seven eight five three zero. It shall be well with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Stay tuned. Welcome back, ma. Back to you now that you know that. Okay, this is your God-given talent. Using your talent to increase the kingdom of God. You go how to minister through drama stage. How many film have you future in? How many have you produced? Or what are you aiming to do in the future? Can you please share with our viewers? Yeah. Um. I've done a lot of um, um, stage performances, stage drama, because 
it, that was where I started from and I love stage oh, performance. Wow. <laughs> I love because to me the, the stage ministration yeah. brings out the, the, the real the you, you and yeah. it, it's a training ground yeah, because right. if you go through um, uh, stage uh, ministrations you know you are trained about you know some technicalities That's when right. it comes to drama and all that so there are times that there are some things that I say or do people wonder oh did you study theater art and that was because I started from this stage so I, I've done a lot of um, that and in my in my church as well it has always been stage ministration but recently my ministry we 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 go around especially in UK okay. around Europe we've gone to Scotland we've gone to um, um, Ireland to do stage ministrations mm -hmm. but recently when you know the move to movie started uh, I remember initially within the ministry we were like oh let's let's do this let's do this but when God has not Okay. giving you the release hmm. to do it we we were a bit you know a lot of people were like you've done a lot why not do this but as at that time we didn't have that release to to, to go it. into into into, into movie. the movie production, and when yeah. we were going there god told us that hmm. um he has not called us into competition mm -hmm. but he has called us to complement each other hmm. so that always ring to us mm. that not we're not doing movie because we want, we want to, to do movie it. or because other people are mm. doing but because God gives us message mm. that we want to do so to the mm. glory of God we've done um, uh, my ministry is prevailing world drama ministry um, we've done come home uh, which is a movie that is centered around a lost mm. son that the Lord uh, centered around the prodigal son okay. and we now brought it into this modern day okay. you know how is a bible story but we re was so that everyone can relate to so it um the the lost one can relate to it hmm. the people um into drugs can also relate to hmm. it so a lot of people can actually relate to families even the the point of what parents hmm go through when they're having challenges mm. with their with their children. children also they can also relate to it mm. um apart from that we did also on the uk cdma that's the united kingdom christian drama ministers association we did um a little drop mm. a little drop is centered around you know gossip within the church okay. you know people uh -huh. always add one story another right. person we add so it was, I, I so much love that story because it started with just a little story and by the time it get to the end the the owner the people they're actually talking about was like are you actually talking about me because everybody has added a lot of things to it so that also with UK to CDME as well I've done uh, with them a, a letter from me to you uh, that is what happens in the church especially ministers men of God pastors you know when it comes to pressure of the ministry out it's been handled so I um, also did um, with real uh, production I did uh, with them a stakeholder uh, that was um, I think that was in August last year okay. that was a stage a total theater performance mm. as well um, yeah stakeholder was an interesting one because oh, wow. I it, it brought out the challenge in me because it's a stage performance okay. I loved it so, so you much able to explore I am that. able to explain <laughs> that so, oh, wow. and it was it was really you know having it was it was um, 84 pages script oh, dear. which I um, to the glory of God I played a lead role and having to to have uh, the, the producer is fully into theater so you must add all the lines and all that so but it was a learning curve for me and uh, yeah it was really um interesting and um currently on the uh, prevailing world there's um uh, a movie that we is about we are working on at the okay. moment it's called um free yet costly 
okay. free yet, yet costly. costly. Watch oh. out, it's coming okay. out very soon. Mm. What is free? What is costly? costly. Mm. Uh, also, I just um, mm. we just got back home from a location, mm. um, the, the first phase of the location under UKCDME on a movie titled The Cycle. So, um, yeah, what is The Cycle? I just want you all to, to watch look out, out. to watch out okay. for it. Mm. I'm thirsty for know. this one already, because the title um, <laughs> himself is, is marvelous. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Free boats, it's cost, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Free okay, I, I'm, I'm imagining, okay, <laughs> our Christ Jesus, he has died freely for mm. us, but it's cost, it takes us some things. Yeah. We need to forsake some things before we accept that free gift. Exactly. You know, I'm just trying to relate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah, trying to get the story. But... <laughs> oh, wow. Wonderful. More grace and anointing Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That's awesome. That's awesome. More anointing upon you Amen. in Jesus Christ's Amen. name. In your experiences during all this journey of yours, what are your greatest challenge and how are you able to overcome? Like I said, um, I'm a person that imagines a lot. Mm. And um, when, when um, writing scripts, mm. I write it the way it comes. I don't care don't in, terms of, in terms <laughs> of, okay, what is going to cost? Oh, what the... I just flow with it. So after writing it, after putting everything down, I'm going to sit down. Mm. And I'm like, wow. Mm. How do you want to achieve this? <laughs> this is huge, you know. And what also keep me is that any vision that is not bigger than us mm. is 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 not from God. It yes. has to be bigger than mm. us because our God is great. Because our God is so, it has to be big. Mm. So we always face uh, as as drama ministers because we want to do a lot mm. through drama, mm. but there is a lot of restrictions. Mm. There is a lot of in, in terms of human resources as mm -hmm. well, and this part of the world that we are, everyone is busy, mm -hmm. you know, to to get people together to give their it's a commitment great is a is a great challenge, mm -hmm. and um, we also want a situation where we get to the point that we can go one month mm -hmm. away on location like this location that I just got back from a whole one week everybody we were just there and it made the work a lot you know easier than you know having to wait people to come and also the issue That's a of great commitment yeah wow it's, one it's week really one, a whole one week we oh, were wow. there um Sunday we left Saturday the following week so it was we fellowship together and you know apart from just acting that a lot of things that we kind of learn from each Enjoy. other as well so that resources and one thing that personally God has told me is taking over because I, I also believe that we want to take some things away from the entertainment industry. We, we believe it has been compromised. We believe a lot of things are just a lot of junks has been, we have been fed with a lot of junks. Our children see a lot of things that even mm. us as parents, we, we kind of, you know, what, what is going on? But it's not just for us to complain. We can't, I, I, for instance, we can't stop our kids from watching some, some channels, mm. some programs on That's the TV. Right. We can't stop them. Mm. But for us to replace, we have to replace it with something. Mm. You know, I, I, I remember mm. a, a, an incident that the Lord used to, to minister to me. Um, a lady, a friend of mine, scolded my, my, my little boy one day that um, um, she was calling, he was calling her auntie, auntie, auntie. And the, 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 my friend said, I'm not, stop calling me auntie, stop calling me auntie. The boy was confused, you know, at that point, the boy was confused. And I didn't say anything at that moment, but later I went to meet my friend. I said, you just told the boy to stop calling you auntie, but you didn't tell him what you want him to call you. And God used that to minister to me, that we we stop people from doing something, but we are not replacing, we are not telling them the right thing. And that word, taking over, 
you know, was given. So how do we take over? We have to do something of standard. Something people can say, oh, yeah, I come this. You mean this is a Christian movie? No. I mean, people get glued to, to watch, you know. There are messages for the church, but there are messages that we need to tell the people outside. And how do we relate? We have to come to their level, not compromise, but come to their level to understand for them to understand. So those are the challenges in terms of resources. There was a time I went to some some uh, ministries, you know, because I was like, can't we do something? You know, let something big unique. churches come together and do, but you know. Some of the churches, as long as it does not relate to members, mm. membership, you know, sometimes they don't see that vision, mm. you know, so, but God is helping us. Hallelujah. Anyhow, Hallelujah. It's wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. So can you tell us how you are able to overcome those challenges? I know it's a learning process, it's a working process that, yes, we don't want to give up because we need to do something different to bring people back to the kingdom. So how are you coping, how are you managing the challenges? What is your experience about that? For, um, let me use prevailing word, okay. drama group, for instance. Um, we are not a lot like that. But the people, God, <coughs> God does not, he has taught me that God does not move by numbers. Huh. We are, we have committed members. Huh. When I say committed, apart from time, financially, you know, because most of the projects, especially the Come Home movie that we did, that was like our first movie that we were going to do. Especially that movie, everybody gave. Everybody gave, you know. We were like, how is it going to happen? We, 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 we engaged professionals to, to do the shooting for us, the directing and everything. And it was like, when the bill came, we were like, wow. How we, but people gave, everyone gave. So that alone, you know, helps to encourage everyone that yes, indeed, God is it. And and there has been testimonies. Hallelujah. There has been testimonies after even individually, people within the, the um, um, ministry ministry changed their cars, bought their homes hmm. and you know yeah. there has been testimonies and this is yeah. something that's always yeah. encourages us yeah. and some most of the time sometimes when we get discouraged God will just do something within yeah. us that we will just feel that okay maybe during our prayer meeting you know yeah. we, if we, we will plan something and it will just go another way oh, wow. and we are like oh no this can only be God yeah. you know so God has always it's been challenging to be honest. It mm. has been very, very challenging. Hallelujah. But God has always been there. been there for us. Glory to God. I'm happy to hear that because the Bible makes us to understand that in this world we will see tribulation, yeah. trials, and all that. But we should always be of good share because yes. we have overcome the world. Yeah. So it doesn't mean that we will not um, face challenges, mm. but it's for us to just keep holding on to God. Mm. Especially if you have that vision and you know that purpose truly and truthful that you are not being compromised or being in competition with anybody you will always try to remember the vision once you remember it and that's the reason why i said we should put it down we should read it wrong with it at all times so when your mind is worried when you are confused when you are tired if you go back to it it will encourage you and strengthen you and you will continue to push forward god bless you man thank you for sharing um can i quickly acknowledge my wonderful people on the platform thank you for joining my beautiful sister olakweju johnson god bless you man thank you for being there always my brother odunuga thank you for joining thank you for sharing thank you for your comments at all time god bless you my wonderful um prophetess alice bc on lot of words god bless you ma you are so wonderful may the lord continue to refresh your anointing in the mighty name of jesus she said good evening my sister god bless you ma and my beautiful sister adenike amada fab 
while you see she said good evening thank you ma for joining god bless you please do share on your platform to encourage other people and it shall be well with you we will soon get to the segment that we want to encourage one another in the scripture it doesn't matter if you know the answer right or not it does not matter we just want to share knowledge because i am i love learning from other people it makes me doing better trust me i'm not where i used to be and i want to move forward in doing good in knowing more things so do not be ashamed to share your comments when we get to that segment do not be ashamed do not even if you don't get it right at least contribute and for you to interact with us and i pray god will give us wisdom in his word in the mighty name of jesus we shall quickly um go on the break by watching one of my beautiful sister movie titled comes home come home okay we shall go and watch that and see what she has done in the past and she told us that there are lots of package coming up please watch out for this watch out for this she will share a handle the ministry handle where we can uh, always turn it to watch all their beautiful movie and i pray it will bless your life in the mighty name of jesus please stay tuned while we watch this short movie god bless you hey george here you are what happened why does that look he said, because the returns had more today, is that the reason you're solving? Don't worry, I have been doing, I have been this for five years now. I'm going to teach you different tactics that will up your takings. And with this... Oh, that was a very productive meeting, man. Ah, I said that again. You know, we are really, really moving fast. <laughs> oh, yes, mom. <laughs> and also the giant international group contract went well beyond expectation. Exactly. Ah, exactly. I'm the, really impressed. The bill of lading has gone through. And yeah. also our US um, account mm. just confirmed the transfer of $1.6 million into our South Africa That's account. That's good news. That is good news. Exactly. Yeah, um, you need to inform the um, SA office immediately. And um, also, let them know that I need to see the report first thing in the morning. Oh, I'm sorry, Mom. It ca the report came in this morning. Oh. oh, I forgot to mention it. Oh, that's okay, that's okay. Uh, I know you're, you're dealing with a lot at the moment. And very soon, yourself and your brother, you're going to take charge of the Graceland establishment. Are you world? I'm proud. Oh, thank you, Mom. And we're gonna make you so proud. Oh, we're gonna make me proud, Mom. Oh. There you are, Brent. You were a no-show at the pitch. And you know how important it was. Thank God I had a backup plan. Mom, I worked all night to ensure that we are ready for this. Yeah, that's true. Brent, your sister has been dealing with a lot these days, you know? And come to think of it, I still don't have that quotation uh, for the Turkish government. Brent, what's eating you up? What's the problem? You've been like this now for over two days. Do you want to talk about it? Yes, mom. We need to talk. Brent, okay, fine. Just tell me what the problem is. Is it with money? Are you having challenges with work? What's the problem? Are you in any trouble? Oh, mom. Which one of the questions do you want him to answer first? Anne, it's not funny at all. You should be more concerned about your brother. What do you mean? Look at his act towards work, mom. He needs to put his acts together. This is not the time for that. This is not the time. And that is what you always say. Brent is his I want to leave. I want to leave. I, I want to be on my own. Responsible for my own business. Where is this coming from? Mom. I deserve half of the business. I deserve half of the company. You will soon retire anyway. 
Mom, give me my inheritance. Are you out of your mind? Wait a minute. Have you started doing drugs? Uh -uh. You don't say such a thing about your brother. Friends, friends, listen to me. We love you and you know it. We need you. If there's any trouble, any problem, let's sort things out. Let's sort it out. Mom, give me my inheritance. Give it to me now. Are you totally and completely out of your mind? You get out of this. It seems you have forgotten that I have got a say here. I have got a foot here. And you've got nothing. Read my lips. Absolutely nothing. Will you get out of my face? And if I don't, what Will are you going to do? What? Prince! Prince! What are you going to do? What's Tell me! the problem? Oh my God! Tell me! Prince! Take it easy! Both of you think I'm joking, right? You think I'm joking? Mom, <gasps> give me my inheritance. Just, just put that away. Can you please put that away? Can you give me the back? Mom, if you take one more step, I'm going to slash you. Ah, you will rot in jail. It's okay, it's okay. You shut up oh, your mouth. Okay, okay, okay. Shut up your mouth. Before. Okay, okay. Whatever you want. Oh, I'll give you whatever you want. <laughs> Mom, don't do it. Shut up. Shut up, Miss Know It All. You make all the money for mom. Looking as if you are the only one in the house. As if I don't exist. So, is that what this is all about? Is that what this is all about? Okay, just take. So, this is what, you, this is what this is all about. <sighs> wow. <laughs> now you're talking. Mom, I don't know how worth this much. If I knew this, I could have done this long time. I mean, money. Come on. Thank you. Mom, you shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have given me this much. Love you. We can still talk. Mom, I'm please. going. Mom, mom, mom. Ladies, yeah. enjoy yourself. Oh, yeah. 
I can buy you cars, mm. buy you anything, name it. Spend my money. Love is too short. Yes, right. Smoke, marry, and a little bit of. Of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know, I know, I know what you want. I know what you want. <laughs> but you don't expect a, a guy of my to be walking around with stack cash. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm going to surprise you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You're going to hear a big alarm. <laughs> Glory, glory to God Almighty. Welcome back to a platform tag, a seed in me, where I have my wonderful minister Tony and let me do on a platform tag, a seed in me. Yes, we just watched uh, one of um, the movies she has produced with our uh, um, drama group and it's titled Come Home. I will employ you to please turn it into their YouTube channel, which is Prevailing World Drama Group youtube channel and also facebook channel to watch more of this movie because it's awesome trust me in one way or the other we are all going through one challenges or, or, or the other and this can relate to us in so many ways if not sister or brother it could be mother it could be father and it could be friends or members of church if friends at work you know so it it does relate to us in a way please just turn it to wash it and be blessed and also share and i pray god almighty will bless you in the mighty name of jesus more of their movies that you can also watch is on their website which is www dot pwdg.org you can also turn it in there and watch loads of of their movies and it will surely bless you in jesus name i will quickly acknowledge my people that just joined in uh, my wonderful mother alice bc also said you are doing good work keep it on thank you so much for your encouragement god bless you ma and also my wonderful brother Oluwag Bemi Ogundeleye, he said, um, I enjoyed the part of knowledge sharing. Oh wow, thank you sir for joining. Yes, it's good to share knowledge, it's good to um, learn from one another, to make us great, to make us better. Thank you for joining, thank you for your comments sir, God bless you. Um, also my wonderful sister Lakweju Johnson said, what a great story, well done ma. Thank you, Ma. God bless you. This story is from the Bible, Luke 19, 11. Oh, wow. They already searched for us to know where it is in the Bible. So, all our acting, all our drama administration based on Bible, um, based on Bible or, or by, the, by the inspiration of God Almighty. So, we can relate it to our lifestyle because there is nothing happening to us in this world that is not in the Bible. It has happened to the whole people. That's why the Bible is always there for us to encourage us. If those people went through it and they survived, we also can go through it and survive. We will not die in it. But it takes the grace of God and that great faith to tap into those things. So just connect. When you are watching um, Christian movie, be connected. When you are, when your spirit is open to receive it, your life will be transformed. Trust me. I pray God Almighty will continue to bless us all in Jesus' name. Kindly please share as we are moving forward. You are welcome back, man. Thank you so much. Now, man. because of our time, we shall quickly move into our interaction section where we ask one or two questions from my guests, my humble guests that I believe so much that he knows better than me. And I'm willing to learn from her. And also on people uh, on the platform, I want to learn from you as well. So this is the segment to interact together. It's nothing too serious because nobody knows it all. Me, I'm telling you that I want to learn more. I want to know how Moses parted the Red Sea. I want to know how the manna came down from heaven. How could that be possible if not by the power of God? So I want you to tell me. How does that power of God works that will bring manna from heaven? So we want to share experience here and it shall be well with us in Jesus' name. Just type in your answer on the platform and you can as well call the studio number 079 
0242-5050. And if you are calling from abroad, add plus 44 on WhatsApp. I will definitely pick it up or try to read out your message. God bless you. You have 60 seconds to answer for three to four questions. <coughs> Are you ready? Can I call a friend? <laughs> <laughs> okay, to answer for you. Why not? <coughs> okay, I will extend the time to two minutes. So if you if you can call a friend, why not? Call a friend to tell you the answer. I will give you that grace. So you have one option to call a friend within the the time. Okay, let me quickly. Um, <coughs> yes, your time starts now. Which animal lied in the Bible? Which of the animal lied in the Bible? That is the first question. The second. The second question is, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Don't laugh. Don't make me laugh. Let me carry my book. Right. Okay. Where you go, I will go. And where you stay, I will stay and your people shall be my people. Who said this word in the Bible, and where can we find it? Ruth said it. Okay. And in the book of Ruth. <laughs> in the book of Ruth. <laughs> Chapter verse, you don't know. Oh, okay. Please. That's the second question. My third question is, what is the name of a woman that Abraham married after Sarah? Okay. Hmm. You said a guy. Nope. The fourth question. The fourth question. What is the name of the woman whom Peter raised from the dead? Do you want to call your friend? <laughs> no, you are permitted. Yes, ma'am. Uh, whom Peter raised from the dead? Yes, ma'am. Uh, okay, let me help you a bit. I will give you option one, jo okay. Johanna, two, Sapphira, three, Tabitha. No, Christ read Tabitha. It's Johanna. I think I get it. <laughs> you have few seconds. So I will move further to another question because we still have time. What is the nationality of roots in the Bible? What is the nationality of roots in the Bible? Thank you, my brother. Olukbe me. God bless you. <clears throat> Thank you for your comments. I don't, I don't uh, no. Okay, should I give you option? Bra ask Bragbe or the Bragbe. Bragbe me. 50 50. <laughs> okay. I'll call your friend. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <coughs> We have 40 seconds now. Okay. What is the name of the, what is the name of Tabitha? What is the name of Tabitha? Yeah. Mm. Is that not Tabitha? Tabitha is, 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 a, is a word, you know. Um, yeah, every word when they said Tab Tabitha, meaning uh, comfort or something like that. Mm -mm, is that that is Talita Kumi. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. This is hot. It's, it's just like a, a proverb, an adage word, Tabitha. Ah, okay. Do you understand? So it means something. This is hot seats. Oh, wow. Should we call it a day? What what does it mean? <laughs> yeah. we learn it. Until we end, because okay, I don't until know, the end. Okay. Yes, I don't know if people on the platform would like to answer that, so I can't really. Okay, all right. The, okay. Yeah. And your time stopped now. Oh, okay. Thank you, ma. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> okay, I will I will hold on for um, a few seconds or a minute for people to contribute. Thank you, my brother Olu Bemi. Thank you for contributing. God bless you. Okay, let me quickly read out the questions again for the benefit of people that are just joined in. Um, I, I, the first question was, which animal lied in the Bible? And you said serpent. Brother 
brother Olubemi said snake. Thank you, sir. God bless you for contributing. You got that, ma. Thank you, ma. <laughs> and then the other question I had was that where you go, I will go, and where you stay, I will stay. I said who said it? You said root. Where can we find it? You said in the book of Ruth. Thank you, man. God bless you, man. You got that as well. Yes, we can find that in the book of Ruth, chapter 1, verse 16. Okay. Yes. And the other question I had was that, what was the nationality of Ruth in the Bible? Ruth came from Moabite. She is from Moabite. She is from Moabite. And we I said it in my, in my spirit. In your spirit? Unfortunately, I didn't connect to that spirit. So I didn't know. <laughs> we can find it in the book of Ruth chapter 1 verse 4. Yes. Okay. And the other question I has that, Abraham, what, what is the name of a woman that Abraham married after Sarah? You said a guy. But the answer was Kentra. Uh, okay. Yeah. Genesis chapter 25, verse 1 and 2. Okay. Yep. And then, uh, her. what is the name of the woman whom Peter raised from the dead? And then you said um, Tabitha. You got the answer right. The word Tabitha is just a... It's, it wasn't a name. It uh, means, yeah, it wasn't a name. It means arise. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But the one you are related much. to is um, Talita Kumi. It's the same word arise, arise. only to child. Okay. Yeah, according to the Bible. Okay. Yeah, and we can find this in the book of Acts chapter 9, verse 42, 43. Three. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So my brother Olubemi answered that Keturia is the okay, name. Ketura. But yeah. the word arise in that language, Hebrew language, is Tabitha. Tabitha. So sometimes we miss it together. We think that the name of the child was Tabitha, Tabitha. but it wasn't. Oh, okay. Thank you, more knowledge to you, sir. I'm learning from you. Oh, wow. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. And the last question was um, do, 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 what's the name of what is the name of Tabitha? That particular Tabitha. Tabitha. What is the name? I didn't, I didn't get that one. You don't know that one. Thank you, sir. She, he said Dockers. Dockers! Oh, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Now wow. you remember. <laughs> uh -huh. We can find that in the book of Acts chapter 9, verse 36. Oh, wow. wow. Thank you, yeah. ma. God bless you. Thank you, my brother. I need to send you a gift. Don't let me promise. I promised somebody last time I didn't send a gift. <laughs> No, that's the that's the call of friend that I was saying. That you are so saying, baby. so he's so, so I, I got every, all the oh. questions right. Ah, ah. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. So your friend will leave the answer. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. Friend. You did tell me at the beginning that brother means your friend on the platform telling us the answer. Thank you, sir. More wisdom, more knowledge to us all in the mighty name of Jesus. The book of Joshua said we should always. Hold on to that Bible mm -hmm. and meditate on it. Not just to hold it or put it under a pillow or flash on it or read it as a novel. It will not minister. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how long it takes us to understand the interpretation of the Holy Spirit when we are reading Bible. Trust mm -hmm. me, it does not matter because it's a working process. Mm -hmm. We are all work in a working process. It depends on how God wants to, want to relate with you. But if you don't have that hope on mind by reading the Bible, there is nobody to interpret it. You will just read it as a story, mm -hmm. then it will end there. You will not use it to minister to anybody, and you are not increasing the kingdom by that. So it's always good for us to study the Bible at a time that is convenient for us, so that the Holy Spirit can interpret it. The interpretation of the Holy Spirit is different from what we are listening to by our pastors or even through drama, until you read it, you add that another special encampment mm -hmm. with the Lord. I pray God Almighty will give us the ability to do all this in the mm -hmm. mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you and God bless you. Mm -hmm. Now I would like you to encourage our viewers, those who are watching us that are yet to identify their seed. What is that great step they need to take to identify their seed? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, for us to identify our seed, it's is like the, the potential that God has deposited 
the talent. You know, there's always this song that don't don't hide your talent. You know, and it it can only come through the giver himself. We have to connect to the giver himself because he is our creator. He has created each and every one of us for a purpose and for us to know the reason we have to connect to him. And from what I also said previously, one of the things that can help us is what we love to do, what we like doing and what we enjoy doing. And that is where the blessing of God is. So it, we need to set aside, we need to seek for it. It's not something that we just sit down and just imagine that is it. We need to be intentional about it and ask God to give it to us, to direct us, to know exactly what he has created us for. Because there, there, there are a lot of things that, we, that is going on. And if, if we are not... if we are not careful, we, we begin to run another man's race. And, and that, that is very uh, is a, is, is very dangerous mm -hmm. to run another man's race. Yes, we, we compliment each other, we uh, encourage each other, but we have to really identify what exactly we do to other people because the talent serves others. That's right. The potential serves others. Mm -hmm. It's not for our profession, like what I always say, Say to some people that our profession, my profession, put food mm. on my table. That's right. But the potential is for other people mm. to benefit, to mm. to be encouraged to do. So, what are those things that are in you that others will benefit from? So, it's not always about money, money. because a lot of people, you know, well, God will always bless us right. from what we do. But mm. the primary intention should not be about money. money. It's not about profit, but about what others are gaining, about impact. So what exactly are you good at? It doesn't have to be drama. It doesn't have to be um, platform. Some people might just be as an administrator. You are good at putting things together. You are good at organizing events. Why not key into it? Why not make inquiries? Why not study? And, and get more skills in, in, in those areas. So every is so there are a lot of things that God has released onto each and every one of us. It's just for us to tap into it. And I pray that the Lord will we open our Amen. eyes and lead us aright Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. But we need to connect to Him. We need to connect to Him. And we can only connect to Him through Jesus Christ, through His only begotten Son. And once we acknowledge him, once we come in, into that fellowship with him, then we are in the right part on in discovering our potentials. But outside of that, outside of the uh, creator, outside of the giver, we just probably be running in circle, in circle until we connect to him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. God bless you for sharing that with us. More knowledge upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Before we round up, can you please tell us who are your mentors? What do you see as, okay, you need to learn from them and you are, you know, there are some things that um, it's encouraging or inspire you when you see some wonderful talents that can better you. Who are those people, please? Um, I First of all, I want to say uh, <coughs> Pastor, Pastor Dili Kamalafe, the reason being that when I, I remember the first time I came in contact with him and he called me into his office when I first time I went to the church, I think maybe the second time he called me into the, his office and he said, what area do you think you can serve? What do you think your potentials are? And, you know, being me, coming to the church and all that. And I said, I, I want to probably be in the welcoming team or counseling team. He said, no, there's something, there's something that, and before then I've been a drama minister, but, you know, I've been like, okay, I just want to go to church. I just want to be quiet about it. I don't want, but he brought it out in me. And it, it made it, it made me thinking that hmm, mm. that everywhere I go, you know, someone will always Identify. push me to say mm. no. 
It's not just about coming to church. There's something about you. And ever since he has been a good mentor, he has been a good father to me. And is someone that, you know, when you know that someone is praying for you, even when you don't see the person, you know, you feel it in my spirit. That's Pastor Dele Komalafe of uh, Kingdom Mothers Church. Okay. And also um, Sister Dupe Makinde. Okay. Sister Dupe Makinde is um, Blossom uh, Network, it's Women uh, Network, okay. where we have women uh, that are called into ministry. Okay. You know, we talk about challenges that women face and how we can blossom okay. in our ministry. And Pastor uh, uh, Sister Dupe uh, Makinde has been a very good friend. You know, sometimes when you just feel down and somebody from nowhere will just send you a text and say, I'm just checking on you, you know. A couple of times I've, you know, is someone that when I've had some dreams in the past that I quickly call to say, this is troubling and all that. And she's always available. So she's someone that I also um, look, look up to as, as a mentor. And also when it comes to um, drama ministry as well, I wouldn't say that um, they are my mentors, but I watch a lot of films, both um, local and American movies and all that. I watch a lot and I, I learn a lot and it helps me in, in, in my writing and all that. Okay. I, I remember um, jokingly recently, one of my brother was saying, ah, he's like, you've been watching a lot of Netflix, you know, you can show in your writing because I tap knowledge, you know, from people. Um, one of those is um, uh, Brashek Mwajala, you know, he's, he's a wonderful uh, brother that, you know, ready to 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 release and so, so i've got a lot of people like that that we work we work together we're working together i can always run to you know in the ministry that oh okay this is the idea that i'm having how do we run to you. this so Hallelujah. yeah so Wonderful. we have and also black baby uh, <laughs> okay is a, is a <laughs> that's our president in uk so oh, wow. anyway. Oh, bless him. <laughs> Thank you, Ma, for sharing this. Thank you, God bless you. My wonderful uh, mother, Alice Olabisi. Thank you, Ma. She said, God bless you. A mighty mm -hmm. amen. Mm -hmm. And my wonderful brother, Jacob Olushegu Adeyemi. Mm. Thank you, sir. That's our boss. <laughs> she said, well done, beloved sister. Thank you, sir. Thank you for sharing your knowledge with us. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Who and who would you like to um, appreciate before we leave? Um, yeah, how, uh, I, I know I've said some of them when as my mentors as well. I want to appreciate Pastor um, Dele Komalafe. And Sister Toye Kamalafe, the, the uh, wonderful uh, uh, pastors and pastor misses. I also want to appreciate Brad um, Jacob. Okay. Thank you very much. That has, <laughs> he has always been uh, my backbone. Oh, wow. In fact, uh, we are in this ministry together. We do a lot of things together. There was a time that was, at some point, Russian. Uh, Brad Jacob, I'm sure you remember, people will say, oh, Mr. and Mrs. For a long time, people didn't know that we are not actually... I told that as well. <laughs> you told that as well, so it's, 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 you know, and, um, you know, we, God release, God confirms words through him, you know, when we receive some things, you know, we really, by the time we talk one or two, it's like, ah, this the is the same, same thing. Mm. And the same thing when I so also mm. relate with him. So I, I just want to appreciate his, has always been an encourager, to be honest. Mm. There are times that, you know, this phrase is like, do we have to? But he's, he's, he has always been an encourager. And also every member of Prevailing World Drama Ministry, I just want to thank everybody for your support and all that. And of course my husband, I'm, I'm sure he's watching at the moment. Mm -hmm. I want to appreciate him because he, he mm. understood the mission. The mission. Mm. You know, he understood the mission. Mm. He always encouraged me. And you know, sometimes, you know, even when I'm writing, he's mm. always like, 
So for um, you to leave home for like one week. <laughs> for one week. I <laughs> not have a plot. Thank you, so, sir. Um, <laughs> that's, uh, Mr. Luwale Elebuji, thank you so much. And of course, my children, I appreciate them all for their understanding, for their love, and, you know, they are always, you know, understanding along. They read my scripts as well, they criticize, you know, to, to encourage me as well. So this, I wonder, and every member of UKCDME as well, you know. Hallelujah. <laughs> thank you, Ma. <laughs> Oh, my beautiful minister, Toye Elebi Ju, appreciated everybody that supported her in the journey and those who will support in the future. She said, thank you to you. You know, when we are saying that thank you, it goes a long way, trust me. It means a lot for someone to say thank you, you know. It shows that they reflected back and say what you have impacted in them that makes them whom they are today. So it is worthy to say thank you. Even to our daddy, Elebi you oh wow <laughs> god bless you sir for understanding the mission may the lord continue to empower and uphold your home in jesus name my um <clears throat> my only me brother luagbe me said even myself when i first knew them you see everybody <laughs> told you guys are husband and wife in fact more grace and anointing because uh, the Bible said can two work together without mm. agreement. If you understand the mission together, you know the things. The work will be easy. The uh, load will be. In fact, it will make the journey easy for you, and you will be able to achieve in time. So it does not matter either you are a man or you are a woman, mm. and you are connected together. It's the mission. It's about God and it's about the kingdom. So I just bless God for your life, and I pray. There won't be any division in the mm -hmm. mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. You will continue to go higher and higher in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Before we go, sweetheart fruits, <laughs> present this to you. Wow. Can you please thank appreciate you. sweetheart fruits? Thank wow. you, thank you so much, sweetheart fruits. The Lord bless you. Amen. May the Lord continue to increase you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. He will enlarge your coast. You go higher in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you Amen. so much. In Jesus. Thank you. I would like to thank everybody that tuned in tonight. You are all wonderful, trust me. Even if you don't comment, even if you don't say nothing, mm, we are always grateful to Daddy Elevi Ju. Ah, you need to, my brother Daddy Emi, you need to, trust me. Your appreciation has to be double and double or even triple because you need to. You understand why I'm saying that? You need to. <laughs> thank you, sir. God bless you. It is well with us all in Jesus' name. I thank everybody that joined us, those that we watch after. Please do share on your platform to proclaim the gospel. You can see how her journey was from where she was coming right from Nigeria up to this moment and she's still pushing forward because she understands that seed in her. She understands that that seed needs to be executed while she's on heart to use and to increase the kingdom of God. Because the Bible says to us that there is no wisdom, knowledge, or device in the graveyard where we are going. You can't use it there. It will be, it will be useless. So we are meant to use it on this earth before we depart. And if we don't use it, we will be questioned at the same time. Why? What excuse do you want to give? We don't have any excuse. So whatever it takes us to identify our sin, let us try and do it. And I pray God will give us that strength to continually to move forward in the mighty name of Jesus. I love you all. Trust me. I love you all. I thank those that asked that why I didn't do program last week, two weeks ago. It was Easter two weeks ago. Uh, something came up from my guest. Last week we couldn't come up and that is the reason why you didn't see me. I do really appreciate those that call to have the reason why I'm not here. I'm for you, I'm for God, trust me. By the grace of God, once I have that strength, you will always see us here by His grace. Thank you, I do really appreciate your concern and it shall be well with you in Jesus' name. So my wonderful husband, Olawale Akishon, the CEO of Safe Omega Media, well done for the good job doing at all time, trust me. God are really using you for this ministry and I pray he will proclaim you to the global in the mighty name of Jesus. So everybody once again, I love you all. God bless you. See you next week. Please tune in when we come up again. It's will be well with you. Stay tuned. Love you.
Wow! Wherever you might be watching me from all over the world, a warm greeting to your heart. My name is Shio Akishan. I'm using this medium to introduce to you a powerful program on Safe Omega Media titled A Seed in Me. A Seed in Me. A Seed in Me. What is that seed in you that is yet to discover? Join me on this program to discuss on how we can discover the seed in us. A seed that can allow you to shine in life. According to the book of Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 says, Arise and shine for your glory has come. Without you discover the seed in you, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to grow your seed, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to nurture your seed, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to use your seed to impart life positive, you can never shine. Join me on, on Facebook Live at Safe Omega Media. Thank you and God bless you. But tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank you.